I put it in 45,000 milliseconds. Now, when you come over here to graph power, this is what is going to be monitored. Okay, so power, GPU clock, just to show you. You could do maximum limit, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU usage, memory usage, GPU voltage, all right? If you want, you hit OK. But I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it. If you look down here, here is your stuff. You double click it. It's not going to all come in because I kind of way I have to, let me just show you. On the bottom right, it'll say fan tachometer, fan speed, GPU voltage, memory usage, GPU usage. All right. And that's what it does over there. It just shows you what you're doing and what you've uh, uh, I've achieved with it. So that's where it is. On the bottom here is where your settings are. Double click, double click and you can see whatever you want. So this is what I've been doing to do it. Um, let me show you fan curve. Now fan curves is fun because I'm taking manual control of my fans. And if you see right here, it says um, enable software on my fan control, you do that. All right, fan speed update, I have it very low. 100 is low as you can go, so it's going to in 100 milliseconds, if this temperature changes, it's going to actually, um, oh, I just clicked out of it, that's really cool. Uh, that'll let you um, have a spontaneous, more spontaneous change on the fan speeds. So what you're doing here is, I just set up points. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if you highlight it, you see this window pops up, which is out of the site, but it'll explain it a little bit more. So what I do is set up your temperature threshold. So what I'm doing is here, it's like 40, just to show you, 43 fan speed for 44 Celsius. This one is, um, I have it set as 50 fan, speed, 50 fan speed for 51 Celsius, and it goes up. 55 for 55, I have it 60 for 59 temperature Celsius, and then I got it, because the car doesn't run that hot, then I got it 65% fan speed for 65 Celsius, and then I have it for the upper range, okay? Uh, I have it at 71 for 69, then I got the overkill, like if you if you caught it, it's starting to run high, it's 75 Celsius, I mean 75 fan speed for 72 Celsius, and then you, you could really push this thing up. The top fan speed I think on this card is 85 speed, so I have 80 at 75, so that's why, another reason why my card doesn't really get that hot, I kind of limit it because the fan speed, I have the fan cranking up, and this card is ultra, ultra quiet, ultra quiet, ultra cool, awesome design, I mean it's hands hands down to an NVIDIA for creating a card that is just so energy efficient. It runs super cool. I, and first thing, it just dissipates the heat out the back. Unbelievable. Just really is a great card. So that's that's pretty much what I've been doing. All right. So there's the Celsius at the moment. That's it. And then, like I said, here's your monitoring. And when you are done, you can go check it out. All right. And that's how you take control of this um, GTX Titan. And, of course, you could still use this program for... Um, the 600 series and stuff like that. So I was actually using this. And the cool thing is, just to show you, where it says GTX Titan, um, all I had to do is re... I put the Titan in my system, and I left the Precision 4.0 in, and when it was rebooted and the drivers were stable and all that, here it was. And guess what? The fan curve, okay, was already set because I still left it at the same settings. I, ch I did change it a little bit now. All right, just make sure you hit um, auto and then apply, okay, and hit auto and apply, check it off, and apply, and that's really it, it's a pretty easy program to use, if you guys, if you're confused or any of that, let me know, but it, it, what you can do then is just link this, okay, and like I said, I would unlink it, don't even link it, don't listen to me on that, just leave it at 106 power, and you set up your threshold, I'm telling you, 80 is plenty on this card, because you're not even going to hit it, if, you, if you're hitting 80, you're, something's wrong, I mean, you, you, you know, I mean, after, I guess, a really long gaming session with really intense graphics, yeah, you're probably going to crank past. You could probably hit 80, but like I said, I've been running um, Heaven Benchmarks. I've been doing all the different stuff, and I haven't really hit past 70. I think 71 once. Most of the time, the card stays about 67, 68 Celsius, which is just awesome. It's, it's good. I mean, because the 680s with the Signature 2s, um, with long gaming sessions, those cards were hitting in the mid to upper 70s. And I had the fans cranking, so it just shows you the energy efficiency of this card and stuff like that. So that's it. Um, experiment with it. I found that this is a pretty good sweet spot. 100 megahertz above the typical clock. And don't forget, you still got the 2.0 boost feature, which is uh, more improved over the 600 series cards, over the 680, the 670s, and the 660 Ti's. And so this is new to the um, Titan. 
and it's really good. So that's it. You, you guys are really going to love the. Uh, if you're going to think about getting a Titan, it's a great card. Is it as fast as the 690? Is it as fast as the 680? Well, you know what? It's it's not as fast as two-way SLI or SLI in the 680s and the 690s, but you know what? In certain ways, it, 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 it rivals it. And when you overclock it a little bit, just because it's very underclocked from the factory, this card, I'll tell you right now, it's an animal. And that six gigs of memory is just awesome for our fraps. I know it's much smoother uh, fraps gameplay. It just seems it's got more headroom. And the um, other thing I want to tell you about the memory, the actual memory you're using, when you start cranking it up, especially at 2560 by 1600, and you turn up all the settings, you're really going to see how you're going to hit the, uh, you're going to hit some higher bandwidth. You're going to be up in there three gigs of memory used, which I've, I've never seen before. And especially if you use MSAA, which is a little older. I think it was in, um, I don't know what game I was playing. One of the games I was putting MSAA on and um, eight times or whatever like that. And I think it was Far Cry 3. And it was eating it up, and it was hitting almost 2.93 gigs of memory used. So, it just shows you that the memory bandwidth with the bigger, um, the 384-bit, if you want to say cache or whatever, is really awesome. The Titan's a great card. I, I, I got it with intentions that I was going to just use it and return it, and I, I got to tell you, it's put a hook into me. And, and considering I want to get a second one of these, it's it'll be just absolutely unbelievably fast. It already is with just one card. So that's it, guys. I just want to do a little quick precision 4.00 and talk about the Titan and how I'm overclocking it. That's pretty much what you're seeing right there is what I've been pretty much doing. Maybe a couple megahertz faster or, or uh, slower. but And it's got a ton left in it. But you know what? I really don't need it yet. There's no game. I mean, every it's running every game brilliantly. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to do a little quick video to show you guys.